Hi, this is Jeff, and I want to talk a little bit about sync locks and track locks. The little magnets on the timeline, those are sync locks, and what they do is they provide a relationship, a magnetic connection between tracks. So this cutaway that sits here on V2 is locked because of sync locks to the shot on V1. If I go and I do an insert right here, when I go ahead here and I choose the insert choice, comma, it's going to push everything down on the timeline, including the shot on V2. Let's do an undo on that. I'm now going to tell it to bring in the video without it being patched, and I'm going to tell it not to toggle the lock. I'm going to say don't keep what's on A1 in sync. Now a lot of bad things are going to happen here. It's going to push video from the source to the program, and since it's not going to push the audio down, it's going to knock the audio out of sync, just like that. That's what sync locks do, is they lock tracks in sync. Without that, when I would go to add this shot on V1, without the one on V2, when I go ahead and I say sync locks in off in say insert, it'll push down everything on V1 and A1, but it left the shot up on V2 alone. To quickly turn these all on or off, you hold down the shift key and you click and it turns off all the video or all the audio. Related to that are the idea that you can lock the tracks themselves. I'm going to hit a lock and again I can hold down the shift key and I can lock all the audio tracks or lock all the video tracks. But the idea that these are locked means they're unmovable. Now normally I would tell you that it's a dangerous thing to do because again, if I go and I insert a shot, it's going to knock things out of sync even with sync locks on, right? Because what it said was push everything down, but don't do anything to audio one. I'm going to do an unu do. One use that I occasionally do this for are split edits. So I'm going to grab the roll tool, and you'll be seeing this in later chapters. I can go ahead and I can create quick and fast split edits because I happen to have the audio locked, so it's not going to be auto-selecting the audio the way it would do normally. Now that it's unlocked, when I click, you can see it's selecting video and audio together. So those are sync locks and track locks. Great ways to keep you in sync, except for, of course, when you want to bypass the locks.